So, now that you've seen the software in action, I think explaining how it works will make a little more sense. Like all good software, it does a lot for you even if you have no idea what the hell you are doing. But if you really want to get the most out of it, it's important to know materializes strength and weaknesses. To do that, you need to understand texture maps. If you don't, not a problem. I got you covered in a super quick crash course that goes over all the maps and how to plug them into Blender. Otherwise, when you get back, the software has one main weakness, and that is surfaces with deep areas colored white. Material assumes darker areas are deeper back. So if you give it this image, it does pretty well. But with this image, the bump and displacement maps think that the white areas need to come out because they're brighter than the red areas, which is obviously not what you want. Now there are some ways to fix this, but keep that in mind when using this program. All right, so you can click here to show the controls, but in case you can't be bothered to do that, right click rotates the model, middle click moves the model, zoom in and out with the wheel, L plus middle click moves the lights, and this button switches between Maya and Max format. You can hide the menu with this button and delete all your maps with this one. The save options let you decide what format you want the images to be. You can flip your normal map vertically with flip Y, save a new project, or load an old one. And if you have extra properties that you want to map, you can do it with these. Now, every option here has a reveal slider thing. The left side is the original. The right side is the adjustments that you've made. And you can drag it to show more or less of each. Adjust alignment distorts the image. You can see the effects it has on different maps by picking one here. Dragging lens distortion to the left pushes the middle in. But dragging it to the right pulls the middle out. Perspective correction X squashes the image left and right. Correction Y should do the same thing vertically, but it doesn't seem to work right now. You can reset the maps with this button and apply the distortion to all the maps with this one. If you click tile maps, you can change the map size with these buttons. Fall off controls how clear the repeated seams are. Usually, you'll drag this all the way up. Overlap X duplicates a copy of itself and stretches it horizontally. Overlap Y does the same thing vertically. The larger the tile and the more it repeats, but the smaller the patterns become. Offset X moves the map horizontally and offset Y moves the map vertically. Splat tiles the textures in a hexagon formation. Overlap tiles them in squares. Next cube changes the background and the lighting, and if you're in show full material, you can control the strength of the metal, roughness, displacement, edge, and AO maps with these sliders. Change the color of the light by adjusting the red, green, and blue amounts. Intensity controls the strength of the light. Tiling X stretches or squashes the textures horizontally. Tiling Y does the same thing vertically. Texture offset X moves the maps left and right, and offset Y moves them up and down. And you can change the shape of the demo with the plane, cube, cylinder, and sphere buttons. Things in post-process don't affect the maps, but let you see what they look like under various conditions. Bloom controls how glowy the lights reflect. Bloom amount controls the strength of the glow. Lens flare makes you like J.J. Abrams. Lens flare dirt amount sprinkles more little flares onto the screen. Vignette puts a shadow frame around the screen. Max blur blurs the image, and max distance changes at what distance from the camera things start to get blurry. Focal depth only affects things if you turn off autofocus, but it's basically like focusing a camera in real life. If you join me next video, we will be going through the different options specific to each map. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.